Hi guys, my name is Ari Prakash and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Roda. So, it's my pleasure to announce uh, these quantitative aptitude practice sessions for this CAT 2020. Okay, so I've divided quant into five modules numbers, algebra, geometry, uh, then uh, arithmetic, and PNC probability binary theorem. Okay, so these are the five modules in which uh, we'll be doing practice sessions for CAT 2020. Uh, questions will be uh, moderate to advanced level, right? And uh, whenever I see give any question, just try those that question for at least five to seven minutes or even ten minutes, okay? Because trying actually builds up your mind, okay? Without trying, just seeing solution won't help you much. So just try out, guys. Okay, build grill your mind actually, okay? And just try to solve these questions, okay? Now we'll solve it, okay? Uh, considering that you have tried this question, fine. Now look at this, guys. This question says that file or find all integers n for which the num expression n is square plus 19 plus 19 92 is a perfect square. So I want this expression to be a perfect square. Now understand this guys. Okay. I want this expression to be a perfect square. Okay. So but it it actually if I if I write if I want to write in some square form, so only thing I can look at look at or look at uh, at uh, look out is actually a is square plus 2ab plus b square but obviously it is not in the form of it is not in the form of a plus b whole square right it is not in the form of a plus b whole square that means if i try to write it in the form of a plus b whole square something will be left out some constant k will be added or, added or subtracted right so guys now let's try to compare this actually so if i try to compare in the form of n square plus 19 plus 92 to a, a square plus b square to a b plus b square so n square is a square that means a is equal to n okay 2ab is 90 a is equal to n so 2b is 19 if 2b is 19 then b is equal to 19 by 2 so i got it my a and b here so i directly write this is in the form of a plus b whole square that is i can write here as n plus this n square plus 19 n plus 92 as n plus 19 by 2 whole square correct now obviously something is left out, right? So if you solve it, you get that n square plus it's n square plus uh, 2 n plus and 19 square is 361 by 4. So it is actually in the form of this uh, n square uh, plus uh, but the number here is, here is what? Number is 92. So 92 if we see it by 4 denominator in terms of by 4, it is actually 368 by 4. Right, 92 double is 84 and it also 184 and 184 double is 368, right? It's 368 by 4. So that means I'm left with what I'm left with 7 by 4 actually, right? So I should add 7 by 4 here. So that's why that's how you convert in, it into a perfect square form. Why perfect square form? Because I wanted this question to be a perfect square, this expression to be a perfect square. Now this question says that, understand this guys, this question says that n plus 19 by 2 whole is square uh, plus 7 by 4 should be a perfect square let's say it is k square here right so now i can write this equation as uh, 2n plus 19 whole is square so let's say 2n plus 19 i write here whole is square plus 7 divided by 4 to be a 4 is equal to k is square right so always such kind of equation try to get variables on one side and integer on the other side right so if i try to solve it guys i'll, I'll get that 4k square minus 2n plus 19 whole square is equal to 4 sorry is equal to 7 right is equal to 7 okay fine now if it is equal to 7 actually so i can uh, further see that difference of two perfect square understand this point guys very important point now difference of two perfect square is actually 7 if difference of two perfect square is 7 just observe in the powers actually that difference of 2 perfect square is actually 7, right? So 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16. So you observe that, you observe that 2 square is 4, uh, 1 square is 1, 3 square is 9. I am searching for difference 6, 7, 4 square is 16. So difference is 7 here. That means it has to satisfy this. So this term has to be 4 square. And this term has to be 3 square because obviously if I move on the difference will be keep on increasing if 5 square is 25 that difference is 9 here 6 square is 36 difference is 11 here right it will keep on increasing here 
right that means 7 is the only possibility here okay so 1 is 4 is square and 1 is 3 is square so I was supposed to find the values of n so can I write this value as a uh, 2 n plus 19 okay so can I write this value as I'm trying this point 2 n plus 19 whole is square huh, minus uh, that is uh, yeah 2 n plus 19 also should be equal to 9 actually right that means 2 n plus 19 should be equal to 81 correct huh, sorry root 3 so basically it if it is 9 so it should be what it should be plus minus 3 because it is 9 here so now when 2 n plus 19 is plus 3 so basically 2 n plus 19 is plus 3 so therefore n is equal to uh, minus 8 and 2 n plus 19 is equal to minus 3 so n is equal to what minus 11 so i think two values of n will satisfy this that is minus 8 and minus 11 therefore minus 8 and minus 11 is the answer so it's a very good question guys it's a very good concept uh, if you didn't know it right you'll feel good after knowing it that's that's how you attack such questions okay now let's go to the next question guys okay yeah yeah so before we move on guys we have a very uh, important session actually planned up this is uh, last mile to cat and it is on 11th october and 12th october it is a very very important session uh, we have planned it very well we have put a lot of uh, strategy sessions in this for QA, VA, uh, LRDI uh, as per new pattern of CAT and in the uh, it is starts from 9 a.m. on 11th October it goes till 8.30 p.m. we have a mock test in the night at 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. and we have uh, kept a very good quality of questions in this as per new pattern of CAT what is the expected pattern as per, as per me right we have kept it actually in this and uh, so all of you should get, get benefit from it it's absolutely free for everyone okay and uh, it is it starts from 9 a.m and to ends at 8 30 p.m uh this mock analysis will happen at 12 october right so it's very important i always focus on this mocks are actually of no use for me if you don't do the analysis okay so 12th october we'll do the analysis of this mock like suppose for example uh, you have done bad in uh, va or let's say in lrdi right so especially in, in this kind of section in VA and LRDI, you need to know that what wrong you did actually. Which set in LRDI you could have selected first or why if in VA it's very common that you mark uh, 17 questions out of that 50% uh, are wrong. Okay, so what is that gap actually between yours, yours thinking and examiner's thinking? Why are you getting so many questions wrong? That's why that analysis becomes very important. So I always keep this analysis uh, this next day, next day uh, after the mock and all. Okay. So straight away then and there you analyze your mistakes and then move forward, okay? So this uh, enrollment link actually, it is absolutely free. I'll pin in the comment, okay? So please enroll uh, in the, through that link and uh, see you uh, live on this uh, 11th October at 9 a.m. I am also taking a session on strategy at around 10, 15 a.m. And it is conducted by top people of an academy, top educators of an academy, okay? so a very well planned session all of it is must attend for all of you guys okay it's very important in the last 45 days how you're planning how you're strategizing your uh, preparation uh, how to stay motivated okay so uh, what are the essential topics what are the essential things which you should keep in mind for in, la in the last 45 days okay so all things are planned in this session so very very important session right okay now let's move forward guys Uh, we'll move to question number two. Yeah. So for numbers practice session, question number two. Okay. Now look at the second question, guys. Okay. Again, it's a good question. Uh, basically on the uh, funda of factors a little bit. Okay. But yeah, how to arrange those equations is again very important, right? So the question here says that what is the what is the sum of digits okay uh, of largest positive integer n of largest positive integer n okay such that n is square plus 7n plus 12 upon n is square 
minus n minus 12 is also positive integer okay so again try this question for at least five seven minutes guys okay before seeing solution okay let's solve it okay. so now what we'll go do here look at this question right so in such kind of question basically it's a, a common variety of question i, I hope that you are seeing a lot of such questions and mocks are not okay it's a common variety of these categories so how we actually are approach it right you whatever it is a standard process to solve all such questions whatever is present in numer denominator try to bring everything into numerator first of all right so let's say i put here n square minus n minus 12 in numerator but the number here is what n square plus 7 plus n plus 12 that means something i need to add subtract so we have 7n and we're doing minus n here to, to compensate it to compensate for it i need to add 8n here okay then we have minus 12 we have plus 12 here so to bring minus 12 i need to add 24 correct now this is what i need to add and why why did this because to make numerator and denominator same now if i do it like this n square minus n minus 12 okay so we'll try to see we'll, we'll see that this can easily be actually cancelled right this and this is cancelled here okay so what what i'm left with now so i'm left with like Uh, 1 plus 18 plus 24 that is 8 into n plus 3 upon n square minus n minus 12 correct now what is n square minus n minus 12 it's, if you solve this quadratic you will get n minus 4 to n plus 3 and yeah, no? so this becomes what this is equal to 1 plus 8 into n plus 3 upon that is n minus 4 into n plus 3 if you cancel it this gets cancelled right so what i'm left with now i'm left with this is equal to 1 plus 8 upon n minus 4. now what i'm looking at here is that the largest positive integer n such that this is also a positive integer okay so that means if it is 8 upon n minus 4 right so this this should not be in fraction right so largest value it can take is actually 1 right now when it will be 1 when n minus 4 is equal to 8 that means n equal to 12 that's the largest value of n right so n equal to 12 means i i was asked some of digits so what is my answer my answer should be 3 3 is the answer actually fine so this value cannot exceed it's a, it's a fraction its maximum value can be 1 that will be that will happen at n equal to 12 okay so that's the second question guys okay so let's continue this series in the next video Thank you for watching.